What's going on, YouTubers? Today we have 12 retail packs of Collector's Throne of Eldraine. Yes, Throne of Eldraine. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Today we're going to see what we can pull out of these retail box or retail packs, collector packs. I know the odds are going to be a little different than if you were going to buy a box. Usually a box, you're able to pull full four uh, borderless foiled rares or mythics. In the collector's retail packs, it's really a toss-up. So we're going to see if our, our odds are going to be a little better here. We're going to fast forward through the rest of these packs and we'll get to the box opening. All right, guys, here we go. 12 retail collector's packs. We're going to see what we can pull. Maybe we can pull some spice out of here. I haven't opened this for quite a while. I haven't checked the prices either. I know Oko is still a pretty pricey card, so uh, that would still be nice to pull. Here we go. We have a Flaxen Intruders. I believe it's, what, two um, showcase border. There we go, Animating Fairy. And then our, oh, three, Merfolk Secret Keeper. A Workshop Elders Rare. Castle Embereth Borderless, that's a pretty decent one. Oh, there we go, there's our first Borderless Foil. So first hit is a Borderless Foil Oath Sworn Knight. Not so great, but still a Borderless Foil. All right, let's put the showcase there you go that's what it's going to look like right and i believe you can still you can pull a um a non-foil planeswalker in the showcase slot there if i am correct it wasn't that long ago but still pretty pretty it's been quite a while <laughs> all right here we go here we go here we go, Smin Swordmaster, a curious pair that was reprinted in the list. Rimrock Knight, you can also pull a rare showcase, and so far we haven't. Banish into Fable, I don't remember this card at all. Banish into Fable, rare. It's not a foil rare, which is kind of sad. Witch's Vengeance for the Borderless, and a foil mythic Cauldron of Eternity. Fortunately, this card hasn't been hasn't moved up in price because I have a uh, play sets worth, and now I have a fifth cauldron of eternity for the foil rare. All right, so one borderless foil, one foil mythic. Not too bad. Just we wish it was better ones that we could have pulled. Let's see. Let's see. Can we do better than that? If I know a lot of people love Throne of the Drain. This is one of their favorite sets. Animating Fairy. Falmar Knight, Ardenvale Tactician. So no rare yet in the in the showcase spot. A little disappointing there. Oko's Hospitality. A oh, there we go. That's a good hit. A good? No, a great hit actually. This goes there. So the Great Henge, nice hit there. I believe that's the top card of the set now. So nice mythic borderless. L1 another borderless foil, stone coil serpent. So two of three so far, and we've hit two borderless foils and a great hench. What a hit so far. Three packs, some pretty decent hits coming out of it. Let's hope there's more to come. Yes, sir, Bob, I'm pretty excited already. Great hench is a great hit, and I am liking this pack opening so far. Another Ardenvale Tactician, Reaper of Night, a Thorn Mammoth. This is the, oh, this is the Commander spot, isn't it? The one that you can pull out of the Commander slot. Hushbringer for the Borderless card. And a Return of the Wall Speaker Foil Rare. Not good at all. <laughs> all right. 
can be all can all be great, right? But I think that great hinge, how much is that now? 40, 50 bucks? Could be more than that. But great hit it is. Canis Owl. You got a Rose Thorn Acolyte. Silver Flame Squire. I really like that art there for the showcase. Rimrock Knight, so no showcase rare yet. A, another Thorn Mammoth. Escape to the Wilds. Not good. Not good at all. Escape to the Wilds. Midnight Clock for the full rare. Midnight Clock. I love playing that um, when it came out in the Arena for drafting. I just, uh, it for some reason, it helps me. Well, it helps me, especially if I decided to go in the realm of a mill deck because it helped me shuffle my deck back and as long as I kept my creatures up it stalled them enough to where I was able to mill them to death it worked but it didn't work that often <laughs> Shepherd of the Flock another curious pair Lonesome Unicorn alright first rare is a Rowan Fearless Spark Mage for the Mythic hit there a Wicked Wolf. This was a very nice card when it did first come out. Stabilized since then. And a Gilded Goose. Was a great card. Still is. A full version. There you go. Okay, two. So far, two. Foil. Actually, more than two. Four. Four foil rares. Two foil extended borderless cards. So we're halfway through. If we can pull two more, that means at least we pulled the average, right? Fox and Intruder for the foil showcase. It's nice looking there. Falmer Knight. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Fairy Guide Mother. So no rare yet in the showcase spot. Alela Arful Provocateur for another mythic hit. Commander hit. Linden the Steadfast Queen. Fifth element, right? You guys seen that? Fifth element. And Vantress Gargo for another borderless foil. There we go. Three. We're almost at our quota for the regular box opening. So, so far, nothing out of the ordinary. Almost like a regular box opening. Hopefully, we can um, pull some nicer hits out of here. Other than the Great Hinge. Still pretty nice. Shepherd of the Flock. Acolyte, another unicorn. Here we have Arcane Signet. This was a billion dollars when it came out first. Worthy Knight. Worthy Knight. And Ice and Crag Feet. Not the greatest card, but that makes it our fourth borderless foil. Not the greatest hits there. I think the best one is probably the Stone Coil Serpent. Maybe Gargoyle, but... Uh, we hit we hit our four. If we hit another one, that means it's better odds for us than a regular box. All right, lonesome unicorn, queen of ice, tune veil tree folk, a garrison griffin for the common spot. Another worthy knight. I would I would have thought I would have pulled more um, duplicates out of here, but that's our first duplicate of the pack opening. And a Mirror May. These these actually have uh, gone up a little bit in price. So a decent hit there for a foil Mirror May. Rare. Are you guys excited for call time? February 5th. Call time. Release date. They pushed it back. I believe it was initially set for January 25th. But of course, with the whole virus issue, everything has been pushed behind. I thought it was crimping going on there. But that's just the art. That is just art. Artville Tactician. Another curious pair. We have another Garrison Griffin. Our borderless stolen by the Fey. Borderless. And there you go. Cast an Artervale for our fifth borderless foil. This one is probably the best one so far. Five borderless foils out of ten packs. Can we pull another? I'm hoping. Great Henge, biggest hit so far. Still pretty decent. And we'll tally up the estimated value of all these cards so far. Not too bad, actually. I think I'm liking this. I'm liking it so far. Guide Mother, we have another Thorn Mammoth. 
A Fable Passage. Nice hit there. Of course, reprinted, but still, nice borderless Fable Passage. And a Doom Foretold for the Fail. Fail. For the Foil Rare. It is a little bit of fail, but Foil Rare. All right, last pack. Let's get a little shake and bake. Can we pull the Great Hinge? Full extended. That would be a, a great last pack opening. Foil Showcase. Rimrock Knight, Queen of Ice, Silver Flame Squire, a Steel Bane Hydra. All right, here comes our borderless card. Piper of the Swarm, not the greatest, not the greatest. Piper of the Swarm. What's behind that? A claim Contender. So let's review our big hits of the uh, of the pack opening. Mirror Maid, we get a Foil, Cauldron of Eternity. We have five... Borderless Foils, Castle Artemail, Ice Cream Feet, Mattress Cargo, Stone Coil Serpent, Oath Sworn Knight, and our biggest hit of the box is probably going to be Mr. Great Henge. At least we hit one of these. That makes up for part of the cost of the pack openings. So there you go, guys. 12 collector packs, retail packs. We were able to average more than a box on the Borderless Foils. And we hit a great hinge. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. Again, description below, MTG Revealed, TCG Player. Comment, hit that like button, and subscribe.